Hey guys, what's happening? Oh my goodness, I am up super, super early. No scooter, no Z. I am on my way on a special mission. And that means I am heading to the airport to get on a big old jet old lino. Um, where it's taking me, I don't know. You guys are gonna have to watch the video and find out. Now's a great time to go hit that thumbs up, come back, and I'll meet you guys at the airport. It's still dark out, man. It's not even 4 o'clock in the morning. It's 3.30. All right. Let's get there. I got an early, early flight. So hopefully we make it to the airport on time and get on my plane on time. at the airport when I get back to you. Meet me there. I right, made it through on TSA. Time to get to the gate. Barely any time to spare. So, let's see what's up. Fun, fun, fun. Oh, the life of a YouTuber. And a gear guy and everything else. Where's gate seven? Let's find it. Sitting in first class. First class in spirit. Well, that's an emergency exit. <laughs> that's how you get first class. Get a window in the emergency door and you get plenty of leg room. I'm here, wherever here is. Um, I'm at baggage claim, wait for my ride. And then off to my destination. And it's gonna be really cool. I hope you guys enjoy it. It was a quick flight, actually. They said, uh, it was only 
like an hour and 58 minutes. It was supposed to be two hours and like 20 minutes. And we got in early. So that's kind of cool. Kind of cool. Great plane ride. Beautiful uh, full moon out when we were taking off and then some beautiful clouds out there. Oh man. Fun, fun, fun ahead of us right now. You guys wait to see what's happening today. All right, guys, I'm finally in the car and I'm headed to a secret place. Can't tell you. You're gonna have to wait and see. But um, I can't even show you who picked me up because then you might know. So, but we're in the car and we're on the road and we're headed there. So stick around and you're gonna find out and you're gonna see some really, really incredible things. So, let's go. We are finally here. Oh my God. Well, any guesses where we're at? Well, here, this should give you a clue. Follow me, come on, come on, come on. Oh my goodness. Oh my, it's it's like right here, by the set. Unbelievable. What the? Oh my God. Look at this. Look at this. Whoop. And an excited rock. Oh my God. Look, look, look back there. Oh my goodness. Look at that quartz. These are unbelievable. Look at these. Oh my God. That is incredible, incredible. Do you guys know where we're at? You guys know? All right, you guys know, I've been hanging out with the gem guy and we're here, we're here. Let's go take a look at this collection. I just can't wait, I'm, I'm goosebumps. Look, this is so exciting. can see how dark purple that is and look at these calcite in there oh my god oh holy smokes that smoky quartz is unbelievable this is just this is phenomenal this is unreal. Oh my God, we gotta get downstairs and check out where the real collection is. This is what I've been dying to see and I've been dying to show you guys. This place is just unbelievable. Let's go. All right, all right, let's go. We're going, I'm sure you guys recognize this because you guys have all been watching their Instagram, yeah, uh, uh, tore up floor, yeah, Reed and his work, oh my god, I don't even know where to start, what to show you guys, just, where is Reed, I don't, he said, just come in. I, I guess we're gonna go this way. There's, there's the dolphins. Oh, have you guys ever seen citrine dolphins? So, look at the fluorite. 
Oh, oh my, that huge fluoride. Holy, dude, a fluoride bull. Oh, the cross, the, oh my goodness. Oh, guys, guys, this is just, this is a collection that you guys have heard me tell you time and look at that. It's a crocodile. So he's, he's got his head up and he's swallowing something. That is gore. Everywhere you turn in here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is just unbelievable. And there it is. There it is. There's the Calvin site. Remember, guys, I taught you about Calvin's site. Remember, Calvin's the one who discovered it, so they named it after him. Unbelievable. And look at all that pyrite. Holy smokes. Oh, and this, this is why... I flew up here. Reed invited me to come up and Eric and I just don't even know where to start. Reed's buddy picked me up at the airport and uh, look at that. Holy smokes. That malachite. And there's, that is beautiful. Look at that piece. And look at that pyrite. And who says nature doesn't have perfect lines? Look at that. Whoever said that obviously never looked at gems, rocks, and minerals because there are perfect lines all over in nature. And it's just a rem look at that amethyst. There's so much amethyst here. It is incredible. All right. Well, there's a couch. I'm just gonna lay down on the couch and wait for Reed to get here so he can show me around. He said, just go on in and holy smokes. I don't even know where to start. This is, un look at the size of that grape agate. Holy smokes. All right, I'll just, have a piece of chocolate here and that's not chocolate. Oh my goodness. These are Mexican agates. Look how beautiful. Oh, oh. oh my goodness. That is incredible. That is incredible. All right, well, I'm just gonna kick back on here. I'll wait for Reed to get here and go through the rest of this stuff and show you guys. This is absolutely incredible. And uh, there's one thing I can tell you. There's definitely no green screen in here. And um, these are not pieces that are printed out on a 3D printer. <laughs> this is the real deal and it is un, but I don't think I've ever seen anything this beautiful in my life. Well, besides my wife, but this is unbelievable. All right, I'm just gonna kick back, wait for Reed to get here.
Really cool just got here. Let's go sit. Yo, Robbie, you finally made it. Dude. What's up, bro? Dude. What's up, bro? <laughs> what is happening? What's going on? Dude, I'm lucky to have it. And you don't understand. Last night, yeah. I woke up at 11 o'clock because I had to leave for the airport at 3 in the morning. I woke up at 11 and I couldn't go back to sleep. I was so excited. To, there you go. I'm like a little kid. I, got, I couldn't sleep. I could not sleep. You take a quick tour yourself already? You I just looked tour? around right here. All right. I was like, Jeff took forever to drive me here. That makes sense. And that winds up. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff. I kept telling him the whole way here, right foot is your gas pedal. Use it. <laughs> he kept switching to the middle pedal. I'm like, dude, right pedal, right pedal. Right Don't pedal. worry about the middle pedal. <laughs> Let's just get there. All right, let's do a quick, quick little tour around. You looked around here. You see yeah, the dolphins? I, yeah, the, yeah. Oh my goodness! Those dolphins. those dolphins are unbelievable. So what we did with it is we took, see like that painting in the background, kind of made an ocean theme. So yeah. Like there's your ocean, dolphins, all that stuff down there looks kind of ocean. It's kind of oceany. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You got the greens, the blues. Everything around here. Oh, kind of wait a minute! I didn't even notice this. Holy smoke. That's an incredible piece, isn't it? Z-Dog, my son would freak all over that. Incredible. But everything here is really thin. Like this banana dye, straight into the painting. So yep. it's kind of bringing it's the, the art the, with the rocks and kind of making it all. But it's the little things that people don't notice. Dude, this is un. You see this Himalaya course that comes from the top of the Himalayas. And this is, this is over there where they dig this. The villages that dig this. This is a piece that would feed their village for, for a, a whole year. A whole year. They sent a team of like maybe 12 people up and they can't use any tools, all hand tools. So it's shovels, blankets, no machinery, nothing gas powered. They go up and they hope they find a piece like this and they do, they got food for a year. Yeah, <laughs> that is unbelievable. You don't like this gator right here. Oh well, dude, that's what I was, <laughs> it, it looks that. like a croc when he lifts his head yeah. up to swallow and there's the piece of meat that he's yeah. getting ready teeth. to swallow. You got all the teeth in there. Oh, It's perfect. That is awesome. <laughs> now this room, come in this room. This room's really cool. Oh my God. This is definitely one of the cooler rooms. So we just reorganized this. This used to be crazy, kind of disorganized, but I think it looks fresh and clean now. All Mexican you, agates. You don't, you don't understand. People, they're so used to seeing agates that they don't realize the Mexican agates that they're finding now is just unbelievable. The color combinations and everything in here, the, the little pinstriping, and you can see little things in there. You can see animals, you can see all kinds just of, all they call them characters. Yeah. So characters, like right here, see this chili pepper? Yep. Perfect chili pepper. That's that one of my, is. That's one of my favorites. And then we brought like little planets out, kind of give it like a little space that theme is, as well. Oh my good Grape, grape agate. agate. We got the lab, this has really good flash, this sphere. Oh my. Dude, look at this, look at this one. It's like a clown face. See the eyes and, and then this one looks like a, a deer or something running. Holy smokes. Come over this way, you can see some really cool faces. These are paintings by Z, so these are inlays. Everything's backwards. So amazing. this takes them, he's really meticulous about it, and there's always usually like 20, 30 different gems in it, and he finds a good way to backlight it, mix the gems, and I think he's the best version of taking gems and mixing it with art. That Turning is incredible. Turning gems into art. And when there's no other lights on and that's just lit up, it really is incredible. Dude, look at these chunks of amethyst and just every... some more cabin site. Yeah, it's a nice piece of cabin site. There's cabin sites scattered. That is cool. And just so you guys know, I know Reed likes messing with people <laughs> and telling them this is 3D printed. <laughs> there is nothing 3D printed about that. No, that still is 3D printed. <laughs> <laughs> and it's definitely not green screen. I'm touching it. <laughs> oh 
Yeah, this giant chunk of amethyst here, we got it down here. I don't know if we're ever getting it back up. So this might, Holy smokes. This might be down here for a lifetime. Who knows? That thing was heavy. <laughs> Very heavy. Talk about faces though. Look at some of these. Look at the faces Look in here. Look at this guy right here. Oh, the big smiley mouth. face. All these too. People think these are like painted or something. Those naturally come out of the ground like that. They make them in spheres and it looks like just googly eyes. Yeah, it looks like a, all the googly eyes. Yeah. Got a bunch of animals in here. Look at this perfect turtle. Oh my goodness. The fish. Fish. Look at that yeah. fish. <laughs> oh, oh, dude, this looks like a snapping turtle's mouth wide open. Oh, that His does. eyes oh, and his beak. That's a good one. That does. That looks exactly. That Ooh. looks like my big snapping turtle we jaws. Do a video with a snapping turtle and put it next oh, to that. Oh, my. That'd be really cool. And these are all like goblins and ghouls, ghosts. Holy. Some of them look like Look demons. at the ghosts. <laughs> Some look of them, at them. When we get over there, some of them are actually scary. Like they look really, really wild. Dude, oh my goodness. Yeah, isn't that, that insane? This used to, so this used to be hidden like back here and no one ever noticed it. We just brought it out and it does like a full three. It looks like a brain. It does. Yeah. And it's pink it's and <laughs> Absolutely unreal. Insane. We made these planets up here. So with these were just agates carefully put together. And then we put her from her diamonds like along the rims. So it's kind of like a plan. We need a light on that one. That one desperately needs a light. Yeah. But it's really cool. Really cool. And then this over here, this is probably... 40. This used to be all amethyst before, but you changed oh, it yeah, up. Yeah, so this, this is probably 40 or 50 different minerals. And the goal here was like an avatar theme. You ever see the movie Avatar? Yeah. So it's a full avatar You're theme. kidding? That's like one of my favorite movies. Kind of like just like a wonderland of like magic. I don't know. Dude, it's like 40, 50 different kinds of gems and... Came that is really incredible. Good. Look at these. It's like stalactites. Stalactites, yep, that's exactly what it is. Oh my goodness. And there's, holy smokes, look at this. Great the great baggage. baggage in there. No one noticed the pyrite cubes. There was oh, oh my God, and look at that. Yeah, you probably can't see in the camera, but how small they actually start and they go perfect. If anyone ever says nature doesn't form straight lines, it's a lot. That's what I was just talking about in there. I'm perfect like, perfect right angles. Perfect right angles Absolutely right there. Perfect. It's probably the only piece in the collection we actually don't own. We traded this to someone. They're supposed to come back and pick it up, but it's been six years. No one's ever called us. <laughs> Holy <laughs> smokes. So it's been there for a while. Oh so my. Are, when you talk Mexican agates, now you're talking Mexican agates. Holy smokes. These are true smokes, Mexican dude. Agates. Dude, look at the fluorite. Look at the purple on that fluorite. And those too. fluorites, when you can backlight a fluorite like that and get get it really comfortable, you get jelly like that. You get all the phantom in there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's so many things going on inside of that. It's oh my goodness! Look at this cabin site. It's a bridge. Natural, and for that to come out like that, the actual dealer who sold that to us said like he's been cabin site for. 30 plus, never seen anything like it. That is unbelievable. For it to form, they, they usually form in balls. Like you see, yeah, they yeah, they form in little form balls. If you're like that, it's really insane. Holy Absolutely God. insane. Dude, I, these agates. Agates are crazy. Look at this one. So this, when Andre, so agates from Mexico cut this open, almost had a heart attack because it has the greens in there. Like that color combination, Blues, greens, whites. Dude, forget that yellows. color combination. I can't even speak because look at the purple. The purple's insane. You see these green lines in this one, though? Holy smokes. To look find at those. that green, like that color green, is very rare. Like he was almost in tears when he cut that one in half. That is extremely rare to find that color green. Dude, look at this. Oh my. The purple in there. Purple's purple. They haven't found anything purple probably in like 30 years. Dude, so purple is, are, well, pur my hair used to be purple. Purples are Crayola very kids. Um, you got Chaco the Clown over here? That is cool. <laughs> There's a clown right there. There is a clown. There's so many clowns through there. Look at this. I love Veracruz Amethyst. I think Veracruz Amethyst is very that is, underrated. That is really gorgeous. Cool. You see the steak down here? <laughs> Holy smokes, it does look like it. We made a video one time where I put I put this and I got, um, what did I get? It was this, I got something, uh, malachite that looked like broccoli. 
And I did a whole video like cooking, cooking, it. cooking it up. And a lot of people were like, I thought it was real for the first 20 seconds of the video. Like, Dude, I it does. It looks like a steak that you just took out of the fridge and you're just... This piece is insane. Holy to find a calcite formation. So it's two different types of amethyst out on that natural ledge. And that big of a calcite on top of there is like, that is absolute one of a kind, extremely hard to find. Yeah. And, and that's why this gets pretty much its own case. <laughs> a lot of people don't realize when you find amethyst, you could find the really dark with the light, with the different size crystals, with, uh, you could find pink amethyst. With, All kinds of stuff. It yeah. just depends on the vein you hit. Yeah, absolutely. What's in that vein. Because you, you can find there are calcite pieces on record almost that size on an amethyst this big, but to get that dark purple, purple around, it, around it is, is just incredible. unseen. Very incredible. <laughs> this is a cool piece Isn't right cool? there. I love it. That is, dude, oh my goodness. Ladies, cover your eyes. <laughs> this is this is what we say is uh, well off. <laughs> this one is definitely well off. <laughs> uh, and who says size doesn't matter? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> so look at these butterflies we did on the wall. Dude, these are incredible. So these we, are just we went the. Through open we went through maybe a thousand agates found the best ones that look like butterfly wings put them up and then what we did see all the herkimer diamonds yep. in there we put hot glue on the wall we would take handfuls, handfuls of the herkimer and then we just toss them whatever stuck stuck the rest we would sweep up and re-throw oh my <laughs> goodness <laughs> and this is kind of like i didn't even the parrots are awesome parrots yeah they're incredible and they're all hand carved and I, what i love is the tails are all different gems so you got like amethyst in there like they're all different color and this one's fluoride. But like everything, like the beaks are different. I think they're really cool. The people who carve those are incredible. Dude, that talented. is insane. That you guys seen some of the carved animals we get? Well, it's nothing like that. Those are, yeah, those are really That's bad. the those real kind deal. Of amethyst route. Bunch of Look at this fluoride. That in fluoride's here. insane. The the color, the green, a little bit of purple in there. Holy shit. Mokes, and that's a beautiful piece too. Yeah, there's so many little ones that you see this. So that's Congo that's, amethyst too. So that's the same thing that's in the river back there. I got. We got to go see that. That's river. from the, That's from the exact same collection. They just polished it and carved it. Now a lot of people, you guys don't realize, amethyst is actually one of the stones that's found all over the place. It's found Everywhere. in the United States, it's found in Africa, Brazil, it's found Uruguay. in Brazil, Uruguay, but Uruguay and Brazil have the darkest darkest. Purpose, yeah, right? but, like Brazil is where, like our really dark one upstairs comes from Brazil. Brazil. Yeah, you'll and find the pure. You also color. find some that are really dark from Uruguay. Yeah. But the United States, it's not as dark. It's no. it's more like a like, this. Yeah, something like that. And Veracruz is uh, Mexico, I believe, and that's really light. Like almost sometimes I'm a see through. Light. Right. Um, right. You guys want to see something really cool though? Come this way. Dude, this is unbelievable. Oh. Wait, stop. Oh my goodness, look yeah, at that piece of that floor. Case, that is really cool. That case is really cool. So we I, I, it's like a winter theme, right? So like we wanted to be like a winter wonderland. So we tried it's, to get like the really bright blue, white, like snow kind of colors. Like we would get all the fluorites with like the snow dusting on top of it. It's a cool case. It, it just looks like ice crystals. Yeah. That's oh. my favorite too. When pyrite, like pyrite on fluorite. I think that like that really blows my mind when you see stuff like that. That is, that is, pyrite is, it's so cool. It's so... And this is a shell it's, collection. Got in the shells for a little bit. Probably should have stuck with it because they're lighter than rocks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> but that grape amethyst, again. Yeah. The grape oh, agate's really cool. The great yeah. grape agate. Yeah. I was, because there is, grape amethyst is when you have a really dark amethyst. It's It refers to its color. Now, the grape agate, it looks, they call it grape agate because it's got like the looks little like balls grapes. all over it. Looks yeah. like grapes everywhere. And oh my goodness. 
Dude, this is insane. So this is another Himalaya quartz. That's smaller. another one? Yeah. So smaller. Definitely came from a different pocket. Looks a little different from the top of the Himalayas. The same tribe how I mined it. Dude, I these Mexican agates are very this rapidly. Is this malachite. That is. I was looking at that. That earlier. is. At, whenever we post that, that is incredible. It's it's an absolute beauty. And people think it's dyed, but that's just it's natural. Dude, that, what natural. is that? That's Vivian night. That's Vivian night. Yeah. That is so beautiful. So it used to be really rare. Um, probably three years ago, they found a massive pocket of it. And that's where like you run into like, if you're collecting gems as an investment, you run into issues because like you could have something that's really rare, they find a massive pocket, it's no longer It's rare. no longer really yeah. rare. This is actually, Stibnite's one of my favorite. It's not an expensive gem, but that's one of my favorite. It reminds me of like that uh, Spider-Man when he's like the black yeah. Spider-Man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When he becomes Venom. Venom, yeah. Exactly what it reminds oh, me. Oh, that is. Dude, what is that orange and yellow? I could not tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I love his honesty. Could not tell you on that. That is I can try gorgeous. to bullshit it. <laughs> this wolf and I is really nice. We actually yeah. just sent out a big piece of wolf and I, where like a little section looked just like that, and we're gonna have them cut it out so oh. we can have another one. <laughs> oh, there's it. And look at this. That's another Vivian light. That definitely came out of a different pocket back there. Oh, wow. That looks to be a darker green, different formation a little bit. Yeah, that's that definitely, it looks like almost blue. Yeah, yeah and you'll get that. You'll get the blue tones in it sometimes, especially if you bring it out into good sunlight. You'll get those blue tones in it. Oh, absolutely. Well, let me show you something really cool. I'll show you this real quick. So we have this sculpted. Like flowers. Holy smokes, it's all Mexican. We made, we made our own dirt down here. We might need to fill that in a little bit. Oh. But yeah, it's all Mexican agates. So like that was kind of the kind of integrating art. And that's all crystals from Morocco down there. Yeah, here. all Morocco. Yep. Dude, really that, cool. Oh look at this. Yeah. Holy smokes. Anything that could be backlit like that, we love. And look at it gets real clear. Yeah, Jeff, get down on that, because that gets that, that gets is super just, clear. It's like, oh, oh, you can almost see through. It's kind of like looking at. Did you ever see the movie Uncut Gems where they like they go into the gem yeah. at the beginning? It's kind of yeah. what it reminds me of. Dude, this piece of amethyst is beautiful. See how dark purple that is? Yeah, that's definitely Brazil. I want to say Brazil. Yeah. You won't find that dark purple pretty much. Uruguay and Brazil are the two. Yeah. You won't find it really anywhere else. This is gorgeous too. Yeah. I love how they polish it and they bring like yeah, this agate green. finish out. I think that's always really cool. That is gorgeous. I've got a small one like that, but yeah. nothing that's... You want to see something really back? cool? Yeah, come in here. Dude. <laughs> this is where things are. Oh great. my God, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> there, what, what the? <laughs> Dude, mine is blown. So we just spent two nights ago, we were actually down here, we were rearranging all the shelves. So we really want like the color to be coordinated and these are like, the top pieces in the collection. Dude, there's, that is from the United States fly. Elmwood. That's Elmwood. Elmwood That's, yeah. I've got that big Elmwood piece. We actually broke it. So it was the first piece ever bought. We broke the whole tip off. We shipped it off three years. They restored it perfectly. You would never notice that tip was broke. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Look at that pyrite on there. Isn't that incredible? Oh. It looks like it's rusting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It does. Really, really cool. And this blue, oh my, but this? That's just, I mean, the colors on that are just insane. Like if you actually get It's that, opalized. If you get that out in sunlight and you really move it, mind blown. <laughs> Absolutely mind blown. Dude, my mind blown walking. <laughs> oh my. That's it, that's a quality museum piece of cabin site. Like you'll see well, it with that, that Actually balls. nowadays, Every piece of cabin site you find is a is museum a good piece. quality. But to get piece. that much blue, but that is, a, we'll just say that's that's better than <laughs> Smithsonian's yeah. piece they have. This right here, that is. This came out. They found maybe three thousand pieces, and that was the best piece that came out of that find. So usually they look oh, for nice. like flower formations, right? And how good it looks like a flower, and that's basically how they judge it with other things like clarity and stuff like that, but. Dude, look at the greens on that. Yeah, that kind of taste. 
and then you put it next to this and they both just this whole they bottom pop. shelf just blinds you that is un holy smokes look at this that's an awesome piece <laughs> oh my god guys that's a heavy piece <laughs> everything here is heavy <laughs> nothing oh. <laughs> why do we have to love the like insanely start collecting bird feathers or something right <laughs> let me turn all these lights on over here i'll show you this too dude that is incredible look at that you guys polished it you cut it and yeah so we had our friend cory he's great he cut it polish it down and it really brings out and that can really change a piece like you have like like the rough form of malachite yeah, the raw and then, you, and then the polish. you polish it and you kind of put them together and it makes a really cool like it pops yeah it really pops and that's kind of it's kind of what we're doing with a lot of pieces now oh, is like just making the pieces look better we sent off a bunch to get clipped and cut dude so like really look at this up. fluorite that fluorite is insane <laughs> there's like greens purples and this one oh my god I don't know if you guys can see this. Oh. That is so cool. Holy smokes, I just saw this, guys. Look at this. That's some kind of fossil. That's a bone. But it's agatized. Oh, that's incredible. No one ever notices either. So it, it over I just the years, saw the, the maroon agatized. Yeah, over the years, there's a dinosaur bone, femur bone, and over the years, it agatizes. So that's like a mixture of a fossil with a rock in it. Dude, every time I turn, I something catches my you eye. Notice things like you could come down here a hundred times. Like, look at this. That's a perfect watermelon terminally. If you really get down there. Yeah, the red the down green there. And the red. It's the perfect watermelon terminally. Oh my goodness, dude, that is insane. It's incredible. Holy smokes! What the? We're gonna have to cut this and then. Do another clip. Right, if you want to see a really cool room, this is what we've been working on. Come follow me. Holy smokes, guys! Look at this. So people oh. think these are painted. They're not painted. Like Jeff, get some of these. Like they're insane. This is natural. So it's three levels of UV light that hits them, and it blows it's all them up like three that. Three sp spectrums. Yeah, it reminds me of like uh, bowling alley carpets. It like, really does. It's yeah. Like dotted. Yeah. Well, like there's no paint like we didn't do anything like these just came out of the ground hit them with uv light they look like that yeah you guys see it all the time when i show different rocks and look well, there's a fluorite yeah and that fluorite, i love that that blue next to that purple is just so cool but that's yeah. a really cool color but you come further yeah. so this used to be the only room we burst through this wall we just added... broke through another wall we broke through we've added more <laughs> oh my goodness we gotta work on the uv light in here a little bit oh. i think we need another one like maybe yeah. here um Still a little bit of a work in progress, but more UV rocks. Just spread out a little more so people can see them well. I just want to knock over a whole shelf. Look at these greens on The these. greens are crazy. Like, that's a bowling alley carpet to me. Yeah. Like, it's just so, it just doesn't even make sense. But, like, the and earth the, can produce that. The fluorites, and look at that orange. That's like a bowling ball. Yeah, that might be the bowling ball. There you go. That makes sense. <laughs> all right, so you come in here. These are all, like, bigger UV pieces. So like Holy this one's really smokes. cool. I love this one because it's like an like it's an amethyst with a calcite in the middle. That glows incredible, and it has like a mushroom amethyst cap on it. It's kind of like cool. it's kind of like it pushed up uh, this it amethyst. Grew. It right. grew and pushed it up, which is crazy. Dude, and this then, is Jeff. This look at this one over here. This look one's this. insane. Well, in a second, I'll turn on the white light, and people will be able to see it just in the white light. Uh, so let me do that. Let me turn on the white light. That is great. Jeff, look at this. Look, come here. That is insane, and it doesn't even have UV pointed on it, but you can still pick it yeah, up. It comes. All right, what? Let me turn on the. Let me turn. It's gonna get dark in here for one second. Let me turn this on. All right, Jeff. Look at the ceiling. What? What's in the ceiling? It's not gonna work. <laughs> it, it's not gonna <laughs> it's work. It's not gonna work, is it? All right, let me show you the white lights. Oh, there's no. Okay, there comes the white lights. So there's one. So that's another inlay by Z. Oh, that is cool. That's a really cool one. And that's all actual crystals inlaid. 
Yeah. So he inlays them, he backlights them. And then does them. the artwork. So that one's really cool. This is my favorite one. And we worked with him. We worked with him hand in hand on this one. Oh and it's just my incredible. goodness. Look at that. So the All amount of that. work he put into this. And then he took black paint and he kind of gave it like that, like real, like cool feel of like being in it. And right. You notice the seagulls up top. He put a lot of work into this one. That is one this of my favorite ones. That's all amethyst. Yeah. Is that amethyst. the Congo amethyst or? Um, I'm not sure. What What's cool about Z is when you get the art, he'll give you a picture of it and he'll point to every mineral and tell you what every single one is. Oh, that is so cool. So I can actually get that for you if you post this. You can you can show people what actually goes. On. There should be like 20 different minerals in there. Oh, you do. <laughs> which is insane. That's an understatement. Um. Look at all the greens, the yellows, the clears. And what the? So look at this case. This Holy. Is case. And this is my all-time favorite piece. People think it's fake. It, it makes no sense. And size does matter. <laughs> size definitely matters. Oh it's like two God. different types of calcite. That calcite on top is different than the calcite, the calcite down, down here. There. That's a dark purple with like the real light amethyst. And just the way it grows like that, like a straight tower. Right is insane. This makes no sense either. A natural bridge is holding that calcite up. Holy smoke. So when they found that, that took them forever to get out of the ground because they saw the natural bridge and they had to be real careful not to break it. Um, for some reason, this, oh, the ceiling is working now. Hold on, let me turn this case off. Oh, wait. Let me turn this case off. Look at the ceiling. Oh, <laughs> cool. So that was like a 300 pound table Z made and we just decided to throw it up into the ceiling. Yeah, Wait, cool. we're standing under 300 pounds right there? Yeah, we should be all right. <laughs> we should should be okay. <laughs> Reed, there's nothing on the floor above this, right? Maybe like a 3,000 pound amethyst. It's possible. <laughs> Something will crash. Dude, look at this hummingbird. The hummingbird is cool. So now you get an idea of what these look like in the white light. So it's like a completely different scene. It is. It's completely different. And when you walk back down this hallway, Jeff, you should get another shot of that to show people that. Oh, my goodness. Like, all these rocks are just, like, normal, normal rocks. Like, this was blowing, glowing, right? This is a normal floor. Right? There's nothing special Here's about that it. one that was <laughs> glowing orange. And look at it. It's just a normal rock. You would pass that on the street, probably. Dude, I, <laughs> out looking for rocks, I'd yeah. kick it. <laughs> kick it, yeah. You'd be like, screw that rock. Take a UV light to it. Total difference. That is unreal. And then I don't oh think my. this case is insane. Dude, what the? Oh, oh my. So that's a real good piece of Vivianite. So we bought that before that pocket was found, and that was considered like world class. That Vivianite is But we set this case up. It's just like the color pops. Like you have your purple, you have your orange. That Wolfenite's insane. The sulfur, I love sulfur back there. It's such a bright yellow. Dude, Wolfenite is cool. Wolfenite is very cool, and it's very hard to find really good pieces of it. That so is really, I love that yellow, too. Super and happy to have The Vivianite. Yeah. This, is, this case is really cool. And what we do is when we tour people, we'll hide it so they can't see it. Oh. And then we'll, hold, like, we'll reveal it to them, which I think is cool. That cool. is really, really cool. A little curtain action. That is, dude, this is unreal. Yeah. This and whole before you know it, we'll, glowing burst, we'll and... burst through this wall and we'll head further back. <laughs> how far can you go that way? Uh, probably like another 20 feet, maybe. Dude, you know what would be cool? What? You build a big cabinet and you put the UV stuff in a cabinet. In the cabinet. Place. Well, we can do that. We have all the space back here to do it. So this is where we clean rocks. It's a mess right now. That's where all the overflow goes. But we have all the space to come back here. Even if you made it just so a little wider, it, we could build it back. I do like And then that. put the in sync cabinet where you just got to, you that way, you can put your UVs in the cases. In the case, and when you see these little lights in these cases, you can even get the UV attachment ones where you can turn the whole case UV. So that that's not a that, bad idea. That would be cool because you got either side. Then you got this curtain, covered, and then you take that curtain. And you take this curt, open that curtain. You know what, Robbie? We need you full time. <laughs> Dude, that would be incredible. That's a great idea. I like that a lot. Now we're going to have to bring five more cases down here. <laughs> Sometimes you got to do what let's you got to do. Let's cut more studs. <laughs> let's start cutting. You got a saw around? Where's Eric? He's not home right now. We should start cutting. Start cutting. Right, guys, well, 
What a first day, man. This has been absolutely amazing. And you can see the lights, it's starting to get dark out and the lights are coming through there. Once it gets darker, the light will bleed through that and you can see it lights up everything. And this place is just so amazing. I wish that the camera would do justice, but it, I know it's not gonna do justice because you'd have to see it for yourself. But look at the lights laying in there with the amethyst. Oh, we just caught it on purple. Oh, and it's turning red and orange. Oh, this is just so, so insane, this whole place. You guys, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe. And what else do they say? Hmm. Get Swamp, share your passion, random acts of kindness. It goes a long way. Helps this world be a much better place. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Get Swamped. And don't forget, join us Sunday night, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Florida Time, Disney Time, whichever way you want to look at it. We go live, we have fun, we answer questions, and we sell a bunch of cool stuff to raise money for the farm and build cool stuff for the animals. Till next time. Hasta la vista, baby.